Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life. Welcome back to our Sunday video. And you will notice that we are not in the kitchen. We are not. Most of our Sunday videos are like our cooking, recipe, keto lifestyle videos. And this is not a cooking video, but it is a keto video. Yes. So we're still staying somewhat on brand in today's <laughs> video. One of the things that we have found when like eating out when we're doing keto is it's actually not that hard to find keto options or like tweak a menu item to be keto. Totally. And so that's what we thought we'd talk about today because the reality is, at least for us, not every meal is done or made here at home, right? right? We love going <laughs> out to eat. It's just convenient sometimes. And so we've had to learn like what restaurants to go to, um, what things to just like Sherry said, tweak. And yeah. so we thought, you know what, let's make a video just talking about some of our favorite like keto restaurant options, yeah. including fast food, yeah. which is something that I did not know if we'd be able to do well on keto. But it's actually, it hasn't been that difficult. We found some things that actually work really, really well. So today we're talking all about eating out when on keto. We're just going to start with some of our favorite restaurant items. Now, it's easy to talk about things like salads, meats, that kind of stuff, right? right? And one thing I will say, and this is a tip I want to give right at the very beginning. Most restaurants, if they're national chains, I don't find this with a lot of local restaurants, mm -hmm. um, you can go online and find their nutritional calendar, right? which is super helpful. Yes. Because carbs hide in freaking everything. Yes, they do. And so you think like, oh, even a salad, I'm good to go. But like, look at the dressings. Does it come with croutons? Like all of that kind of stuff, right? right? Yeah. And so I would say a good, good first step is when you're going out to eat, if you can look at a nutritional calendar in advance, yep. that saves you a lot of frustration like in the moment. Yeah, and I think it's also like when the, your server like shows up, okay, like what do you want? It's just like, ah, I don't know, hang I don't on. Know, I don't know. <laughs> so kind of knowing in advance, like these specific items are just gonna be no-goes. Yep. Um, it's, I, I think, helpful. But um, also, while keto is still, like, it's popular, a lot of people still don't know about it. So right. you can it can be helpful to ask your waiter, like, I'm not eating carbs, I'm not eating keto, like, right. what can you do? Uh, some of the things that we have found, though, um, salads, obviously, hold croutons, that kind of thing. Yep. Um, meats. And so, like, I'm thinking of Texas Roadhouse in my mm -hmm. mind because there's a lot of steaks, there's a lot of chickens. Again, watch out on sauces. Watch out for the sauces, but, um, and the bread. Yeah, and the bread, oh. <laughs> The bread. We always have to be like, we don't need bread. Keep the basket away from me or I'll eat and the whole And let me just thing. say, at, at Texas Roadhouse, like when they seat you, they bring you a basket of bread. But then also like, if they notice there's not one on the table, they're like, oh, I'll get you some bread. Like 14 times throughout the meal. And it's always just like, no, no bread. No, no, nope, keep it. But still no bread. Yeah. So it's like for us at a place like Texas Roadhouse or other steakhouses like that, yeah. we will normally go for like a salad or just like a, some kind of a meal with like a steak or like grilled chicken, yep. that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Now when it comes to sides, yep. obviously traditional sides are things like potatoes or fries, that sort of thing, right. um, which you can't do. You can't do. And so what do we normally do? Some, if they, if they have some kind of like veggie side, we'll do that or like a salad, like a house salad kind of thing. Yep, and don't be afraid. Like if they have like a steamed broccoli, like ask if they can put like Parmesan cheese on it or something. Hey, yeah. You know what I mean? Just like- You don't have to eat it just plain. You totally. Don't to. And I think that that's one of the things to uh, to remember is that like you can ask for what you want. Right, the worst thing I'm gonna say is no. Completely. <laughs> um, and so a place like Texas Roadhouse, we do go to a lot. Yep, just, just because it really is easy to find menu items that we don't have to like even tweak. Yeah, but even other places, and you've seen this in some of our videos, uh, some places that we wouldn't naturally think we could have gone like pizza restaurants. Yeah. A lot of pizza restaurants will make you their pizza, but in a bowl, basically just like a crustless pizza. Right. So it's just, so the, toppings, just the toppings. It's the toppings and mm -hmm. the cheese and like light sauce. Yeah, just ask for light sauce because most tomato sauce is fairly high in carbs. And so that's really good. Mm -hmm. And so like even going to like an Italian restaurant and where you think of like, oh, it's all pasta and carbs. Well, yeah, I mean, it is a lot of that. <laughs> it is a lot. But like even there, you can find something to get. Right, you can usually tweak enough that you can eat. Kind of anywhere. Completely. Yep. Um, we had, for dinner last night, we ordered from a local Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mexican food is one of those foods that I've missed so much. Yeah, because it's almost always like tortillas and Tacos rice and, and beans. Rice and beans. Yep. And so what we ordered last night was a carne asada plate. Yeah. And it's just like... And hold, hold the rice and beans. <laughs> yeah, hold the rice and beans, no tortillas. So it was just like a giant plate of carne asada. Mm -hmm. We added guacamole. It came with like some of their salsa. It came with like fresh cilantro and onions. Mm -hmm. And it was so good. It was so good. And you really 
for me, I, I have found that on keto, I don't actually miss the breads or the tortillas me too. or whatever because like the they're just the carrier like there's not really a lot of flavor in those mm -hmm. they're just the holder of whatever the actual flavor is and so removing the bread i don't miss it in like hamburgers and tacos and that kind of stuff if we don't have the tortilla or the buns completely and so like we've been able to make it work at um obviously like steakhouses simple mm -hmm. right but like italian restaurants and mexican restaurants but then like at more of your like standard kind of restaurant the other day we went out and it was kind of a place that served you know burgers and sandwiches and things like that mm -hmm. um and you got a what did you get i got a blue cheese stuffed burger without the bun and That's so right. it just came with lettuce basically yep um on on each side and the onion and the tomato and the pickle and um the blue cheese and the burger Yep. And it was great. It was great. It was really good. Um, and then I got a side salad. And then what I got, I got the side salad as well. Mm -hmm. And I wanted, uh, they had like a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah. And except, it's like, well, a Philly cheesesteak comes with the bread. Right. I'm like, can I get that Philly without the bread? Like in a bowl. In like, a bowl. Yeah. She's like, of course. <laughs> and so it was actually, it was delicious, right? Yeah, it was good. It yeah. was this like giant bowl filled with meat and onions and peppers and topped with cheese. And it was so great. Yeah. And so I would say that's one of the things, like, ask when they, if you see a sandwich um, on the menu and it's like, oh, everything's keto but the bread. Right. Ask if they can make it ask without the bread. Ask if they can make it bunless because I feel like that is really fairly standard in most restaurants because there's so much, like, gluten intolerances and, like, I feel like keto is sort of taking off a little bit. So people are just, like, not wanting the bun. Mm -hmm. um, so almost every sandwich, kind of anywhere you go, you can get bunless. Yeah, and I think that for me, one thing, I've heard a lot of people talk about how they're always hungry on keto. And I think, um, so we haven't, that hasn't been our experience. No. However, I, one thing that I, I think we do a lot is when you go to a place like Red Robin, I'll use them as an example. Mm -hmm. You go to Red Robin and you order a burger. It's like, it's this big, but like this much of it is normally bun, mm -hmm. right? It's like the burger's only this much. And so it's like, well, if you just have that, you're probably going to be, and so don't be afraid to be like, can I get like a double? Right. Right? Or a triple for goodness sake. Like, <laughs> if you're really hungry. <laughs> like if you're really hungry, just like, it's okay to pay extra to get what you want because what happens is that if you leave and you're like not satisfied or you're frustrated or you're upset or it's like, I just spent this much money and I'm still hungry. You're just going to be frustrated with the, with the diet that you're and on. That's right. And you're going to give up. Right. And so like, don't be afraid to like add stuff on and order stuff. Mm -hmm. So like when I get a burger and I don't get bun, like I get it lettuce wrapped, I almost always get like a double bacon cheeseburger. Yeah. And if they haven't fried egg, I want to add a fried egg to it. <laughs> because like, I just, I add know, the proteins. add yeah. the proteins. I know that I'm going to get frustrated mm -hmm. if I'm always hungry. Yes. Um, and, and another thing that we have kind of figured out in places like Subway, or Qdoba, mm -hmm. where they will do a bowl, like they already usually have those kinds of things on their menu, um, where you can like basically turn a sandwich or a tortilla taco kind of thing into a bowl without whatever carrier. Mm -hmm. um, ask for double meat. Oh, completely. Um, it's so easy and they're like, almost always they're like, yup, two scoops and like it's so easy and then you're not hungry. Yeah, so that's one of the things actually with the carne asada last night mm -hmm. meals, we added double meat to that as well. Yep. Is it a few dollars extra? Yes. Usually, yeah. But remember, the point, at least for us, the point for us in this journey is like we're reclaiming our health. Mm -hmm. And so a few dollars extra to help us reclaim our health is worth it. And to not get so frustrated, like I can't eat anything anywhere ever and like I'm just giving up. Yeah. Um, because that is exactly where we would go yep. if we were always hungry or we couldn't really ever like tweak things to how we can eat it in keto and like, it's just like for us, it, this has actually been a really easy diet for us to stick to because we have figured out some of these little tricks. Yeah, and I do think that going back to what I said earlier, um, it has helped us to do some research in advance mm -hmm. just because um, it's easy for me to get frustrated in a moment. Yeah. And so knowing going in, like I will, if I know I'm going to a restaurant, I will look at the menu first. Yep. Like I'll have an idea of at least what kind of things I could get yep. or like what tweaks or substitutions. Yes, exactly. um, and I, I will say I used to be the kind of person that I didn't always want to like, I didn't want to be a bother to the service. Right. Right. And so you I was always a person where it's like, okay, I'm going to order this, but I'm going to change literally everything about it. Hang on. <laughs> I've kind of gotten over that, Yeah. but I make up for it in my tip to them. That's what I'll say. Like I have definitely upped my tip yeah. when I have to like make a complicated order. Right. Yeah. Um, Especially if they get it right. <laughs> that's right. So, or if they don't get it right and you send it back and they're like, I'm so sorry. Like we'll tip them. Completely. Right. Uh, so most restaurants we've gone to, we've been able to find multiple things we could have. Yeah. I would say maybe the one that's been the hardest for us is like Chinese food. 
Yeah. We um, love Chinese food, but like it's a lot of like sweet sauces and stuff. It's a lot of sweet sauces that are very high in carbs <sighs> and it's almost always like rice based. Yep. Um, and it's hard to remove the rice and all the sauce and have a tasty meal. So yeah, yeah like Asian in general has been a little bit um, difficult. difficult. The Chinese, the sushi, the you know, that kind of stuff, which I miss. I do miss those. Even in sushi restaurants, though I will say now it's not the same, but to me it's similar. A lot of sushi restaurants, at least where we live in Anchorage, mm -hmm. um, you can ask them and you normally have to pay a few dollars extra a roll. Yeah. Uh, you can ask them if they will make your roll wrapped in cucumber instead of rice. Yes. And that's becoming yep. more and more popular mm -hmm. again, at least here. Yeah, most of the sushi restaurants have at least one roll already on the menu that is like that. And mm -hmm. then most other rolls you can ask mm -hmm. so about. It's, so it seems like it's becoming more and more popular. Mm -hmm. um, I would say that another thing that I really love getting for restaurant wise um, are like wings. So whether it's like Wingstop, Buffalo Wild Wings, mm -hmm. again, avoid the sauces. Avoid the sauces, but the dry rubs are almost always great. Except like a lot of times the buffalo sauce, like just the traditional buffalo, no carbs. That's true. Or like very, very low carbs. Yeah. And so that's like a great thing to me. Like I will go like just pick up like an order of wings and be like the happiest person. <laughs> now let's transition a little bit because you touched on it a minute ago. Let's talk about fast food. Yeah. Fast food, um, when we started keto, or really any diet, if you guys are like me, I'm just like, well, that's not going to happen. We're not going to be able to eat anything that's not, we have to go to a restaurant and sit down and eat, or we have to make it at home. But here's the problem, and we've talked about this a lot on our channel. We are people of convenience, and we don't always plan ahead. <laughs> and the way that we, we got, <laughs> the way that we got in this situation is by defaulting to fast food. Yes. Right? That's just a reality. It's that fast food is too, like, it's fast. It's fast, it's convenient, <laughs> it's close by, it's fairly affordable. Yeah, it's usually cheap. And so it's like, well, crud, like, what are we gonna do? And so we've had to get kind of creative with how in the world to do keto fast food. Now, I, I do wanna say, um, keto is a pretty loose term. Yeah, there's like a range of keto. There's very strict, and then there's like what they call dirty keto, which is technically low carb, but fairly high in calories still. Yeah. Like it's not healthy food that you're eating. Yeah, um, so, so I would say that a lot of the things we're talking about today probably fall somewhere on the spectrum mm -hmm, of keto. It depends on where you're at. Again, we're not doctors, we're not dietitians. <laughs> Do your own dang research, because we had to as well. Or ask your doctor, which is also what we have done. That's true. Um, our doctor totally approves of and encourages us to continue on this keto yes. diet. Now, fast food. Um, so a couple fast food, we have a few kind of go-to things that we have found, not only that are like, uh, that'll work, are genuinely good. Genuinely good. Like yes. really, really good. Mm -hmm. Let's start, um, you know, let's start with Qdoba. Okay. Uh, if you guys don't know what Qdoba is, it's kind of like a Chipotle-ish mm -hmm. kind of place. Um, they have like a cauliflower mash mm -hmm. you can get. I know Chipotle also has cauliflower rice. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't love it. Sorry. I tried it on a trip. <laughs> didn't love it. But you can get that on the base. Yep. Or what we had last time, just get lettuce. Just shredded lettuce. Yeah, so they actually have like a chicken protein bowl yep. on the menu at Qdoba. So they have the, the cauliflower mash bowl, but then they also just have like a protein bowl, mm -hmm. which has a base of lettuce. Mm -hmm. And um, it was delicious. It was great. Now, again, ask for double meat. We got steak and chicken. Yes, we did. And then we also added guacamole. Mm -hmm. Like everything that we could add that was like low carb, high protein that fit in there, we're like, add that, put that on. I do that, toss that little in. Little extra cheese, please. Little extra cheese, exactly. Like, you can ask for that stuff. Right. And so that meal was so good. Yep. To be able to... And what they told us at Qdoba was, um, like, once we added the extra meat, it's already an upcharge, and he said, basically, you can add anything else you want. And you're Because you've, you're already paying extra, so just have yeah. at it. And, and so like, we did. Oh, okay, so they don't charge you extra for the meat and the extra cheese and the extra guacamole. Like, once you've upcharged, anything else it was awesome it was and great. so we had these like big and they were like hefty yeah like they were we like were good. both full mm -hmm. um, you I actually didn't, didn't finish mine yeah he had to finish mine for me which i did like a chip <laughs> um now let's stick into the bowl category let's yep. talk subway let's talk subway so we love subway yep the problem is that sub sandwiches when you're not doing carbs are very difficult correct and so what I've done, actually for a long time, even before keto, is I've always liked the salads at Subway. Mm -hmm. Right? Salads are good. So I went into Subway a few weeks ago, and I think we talked about this in a vlog, mm -hmm. and I was going in to get us two salads for dinner. Right. And, and they'll turn any sandwich into a salad. They just put it in a bowl and don't add bread. Totally. And the guy there was like, do you want to make this a protein bowl instead? 
I was like, what? And I was like, what's a protein bowl? He's like, well, it's the meat of a foot long sandwich. So it's like double meat. I was like, yes, I want that completely. Yes, and so that's what we've been doing. We did it for dinner earlier tonight. Yeah. Because they're so good. Because it's easy, honestly. Like mm -hmm. it's a block from our house. We can just go when we're out and about and yeah. go home. Um, and it's really good. Like, so again, like, you know, it's double meat and cheese and then whatever veggies you want, just like yep. you would normally do it that way. But again, one of the things that I did before, like we ordered this is I went online. I looked at their nutritional calendar. I looked at the carbs because they're sauces, right? right? I wanted to add things that still <clears throat> fit, um, mm -hmm. in this, but it was actually really easy. In a couple of minutes, I knew exactly what we could have. Yep. And it's one of our favorite go-to ones. It's, it's so good and it's so easy and they're big, like... I'm not hungry. Yep. Um, let's talk burgers for a second. Mm -hmm. So fast food burgers, obviously a big deal. Mm -hmm. I will say I'm horribly disappointed in McDonald's. Like you can't really get it in a lettuce wrap. When you ask for like no bun, it's just like sad. Like it looks like depression in a package. Yeah. <laughs> and so like we just avoid McDonald's. Yeah. Um, Burger King has done for me like a lettuce wrap, but it wasn't great. But there is a go-to, my go-to fast food burger place is Carl's Jr. Or Hardee's. Or Hardee's for some of you. East of the Mississippi. Um, they will do <laughs> any of their burgers in a lettuce wrap and it is like great. Like the iceberg, like crispy, crunchy iceberg lettuce. It's not like wilted lettuce, which no. I feel like is what you get in most other fast food places yep. if you ask for no bun or a lettuce wrap. Like they give you this really wilted, gross piece of lettuce that you, I'm like, I'm not gonna eat that, that's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, and so like I go and get one of their big burgers, like two patties, bacon, um, watch out for stuff like ketchup, right? And so a lot of times I'll ask for light ketchup, uh, mm -hmm. but still get mayo, still get mustard. And when I eat that, I'm so happy. It's, that, it's good. That is my go-to fast food uh, keto burger without a doubt. Yeah. Um, they did have like a keto burger a while back that had like guacamole on it. I don't know if they still do or not. I don't know. Now, let's talk about our last fast food restaurant, mm -hmm. which is Taco Bell. Yeah. Who doesn't love Taco Bell? It's so good. It's kind of our downfall. Taco Bell is our <laughs> downfall. It completely is our downfall it. because it's so delicious. It's so like, I understand that it's probably not like real food, but it's so good. <laughs> it is straight from heaven. It is straight from heaven. And there's one really close to our house. And the problem again, it's burritos and it's tacos and it's tortilla based and it's quesadillas. And I'm just like, mwah, mwah. Can't have any but we can. Yes, we so can. we have one thing, and there might be more things. Here's the thing, this is just what it's we one have. thing that we figured out. It's the one thing we figured out. So what we do is we go and we get a protein bowl. Yep. Um, no, I'm sorry, it's called a power bowl. We get a power yes. bowl, hold, or no rice, no beans, mm -hmm. double meat. We get steak and chicken in there. Mm -hmm. We get guacamole. And if they have bacon, they did the first time I went, they didn't the last time, we have them add bacon. Yeah. And, and then like their hot sauce. And then their hot sauce packets. Right. And it is so stinking good. You could have them add their cheese sauce, their queso to that if you wanted right. to. And the thing is like, again, like, you know, the tortilla itself doesn't bring flavor. It's just the holder. It's a vehicle. And so putting everything that like actually has the flavor that you want in a bowl. Yeah. It, like satisfies the craving. It, I told Sherry the first time we had it, I was like, I feel like I'm having Taco Bell. And that's one of the problems with keto. Sometimes it's like, oh, okay. But it didn't like satisfy the Taco Bell craving. Yeah, like you have to tweak it enough and use enough of like keto ingredients that it's like, this isn't actually like the same thing. And so, but this, I feel like I'm having Taco Bell. It's all the same Taco Bell flavors without the tortilla. I love it so much. Yeah. So those are some of our go-to. I will say one more. Um, and we've talked about this in a, in a previous vlog. It's Starbucks. Yeah. So the pinkity drinkity, <laughs> pinkity drinkity at Starbucks, <laughs> Sherry loves. Yes. It is delicious, but there's a problem. The pink drink. Of it's course the pink I love drink. it. Of course, of course you love it. <laughs> it's got some sugars. It's nothing but sugar is what it is. <laughs> Essentially. It's sugar in a cup. So I went online. There was one day, um, there was one day Sherry was like, I want a pink drink, but I can't have one. It was a little, a little bit pouty. It was a little bit pouty. And I was like... Gosh darn it. There has to be a way. There has to be a way. I've got to get Sherry a pink drink. Mm -hmm. And so I went online and I was like searching like keto pink drinks and we actually found one. A recipe for like how to ask for a keto pink drink. And it's really good. 
And so I will link that <laughs> recipe down below. Yeah. Uh, we have now gotten it, oh, several times. So many times. Like so many times. <laughs> and it's really, really delicious. Yes. So I would say that that's, that's my like last tip is go online because we've done this with like Firehouse Subs. I've done this with Arby's. Uh, just like Google, like eating keto at Arby's, eating keto at whatever. Mm -hmm. And so enter the restaurant's name um, and like get ideas of what you could have. Right. Um, and then again, don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. You know, I'm not eating breads. I'm not eating carbs. Do you have anything? Can I substitute? Could you, you know, what? Can I get double meat? Can I, can I get double meat? Yeah. Exactly. Um, because we've actually been able to figure out ways to not feel limited to only eating at home. Yeah. Yet still be able to go to restaurants, still be able to go to fast food and still eat keto. Yeah. I mean, I, I do feel like most of our meals are at home oh, totally. versus Which, when we're not on keto where I feel like most of our meals are not at home. That's what I was going to say. It's a very good thing. Right. Yeah, it's a very good it's thing. It's kind of forced us to actually use our kitchen. But I feel like um, we do have the option of going out to eat or if we're just out and about like all day, like, what are we, do we have to go home and cook lunch and then come, come back out? Nope. So we've we found ways to eat while we're out. Which is awesome. Which is great. Yeah. yeah. So friends, I want to hear from you guys. I know several of you are doing keto, have done keto. Yeah. Um, let us know in the comments below. Are there like go-to keto restaurants or fast food options or yeah. menu items that you really like? Mm -hmm. uh, I would love to hear that. Uh, because for us, again, discovering ways that we can still go out and enjoy uh, eating out and yeah. enjoy restaurants, but still sticking to keto has been honestly really freeing for us. It's been really great. Yeah. It's and like really I said, great. I think I think for us, like we've done every diet out there yeah. and nothing really sticks because it just gets so hard and it's just like ugh, our lifestyle doesn't usually um allow us to really stick to a diet because we are busy and we're out and about and it's really hard to stick to a diet if you can't eat anything but what you're making at home that's right but this one has allowed it this has allowed it right so friends i hope you find this uh helpful it's one of the things we wanted to talk about um is just kind of let you know yeah. keto restaurants keto fast food how we mm -hmm. eat when we're outside the house so again put some links down below to some different online resources that i have found helpful yep and uh friends we love you guys so much and we'll see you tomorrow on the next leg life video